Good morning. How's it morning. going? Ah, oh, not too bad. How's it going with you? Good, good, good. Just ready. Like, um, last night was a busy night of shows, oh but God. overall, it was, it was. We'll say it was okay. Oh. <laughs> 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 it was. It was a lot. It was a lot. It was information overload. Um, but you know what? We we had a good night of TV. I wish they would spread it out over the week because it's either feast mm -hmm. or famine. Um, okay. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Commentary Zone. Um, as you enter the room, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Um, and hit the notification bell so that you're getting an alert every time we release content. And most importantly, tell a friend. Have them join the conversation because it seems like what we're talking about today, The Real Housewives of New Jersey, Season 11, Episode 1. See you in next time. Tuesday. Um, this franchise, the New Jersey Girls are back and it's off with a bang. They didn't wait. I thought, when I heard before the season, like, oh, this is going to happen, I thought this was later on in the season. That's the way I took no. it. <laughs> this is right out the gate. I'm like, yes. whoa. I'm well, like, you know, Jersey's always in your face. <laughs> exactly. I mean, no, I was just agreed, but I was just like, y'all just, y'all understand y'all can't come out like Atlanta did. That's what it was. Y'all learned from Atlanta to look. Yeah, maybe they did. Maybe they we, did. Like, look what we did with Atlanta, but we didn't have much for Cynthia's wedding, but we can't come out the gate just slow. We got, Jersey's got to come out with boom to hold the people's mm -hmm. attention. I'm, I'm, in, I'm intrigued to see how the different groups split off because it's, the group is fractured already, so I'm mm -hmm. how they how are they going to come together, make amends. Um, Jackie tried to make amends, that didn't go over so hot, but we'll get into that. Yeah, yeah. Um, so let's just dive right in. The episode starts, and it's an argument between um, Jackie and Teresa at Margaret's house. And it quickly escalates, and I was a little lost because I didn't know what was going on. I wanted to be all up in this fight, and um, and Teresa leaves cussing like a pirate, and then we go to a few days before. So they've wet our appetite for what is to come in this. Mm -hmm. Well, I was assuming the season, but <laughs> I thought the same episode. This episode. No, but you know, I like you. I thought they were gonna drag this out. Like we're on our what fifth episode of of the Bachelorette Party <laughs> in Atlanta. Right. So you know, I, I don't really have high expectations for any of these franchises at the moment. But Is New Jersey that, has has shocked me. <clears throat> Is it bad that the first three minutes is better than the whole season of Atlanta? It is very bad and it's shameful because Atlanta knows how to do this and do it well and somehow they have lost their way. I think losing that, I think Carlos King really kind of. Uh... But it can't all be on one individual. Like, come on, people, get your acts together and give us good content. Like, it can be done. Jersey did it. Like, I haven't watched Jersey in years, but. I watched the show last night, and I'm hooked again. Yeah, I did. The, I mean, yes, it should not fall on one person, but in certain situations, it can it can happen. So I, I'm sure once he left, they can they changed production companies. I think that's another thing that they need to get that together is get your production companies right. Don't change production. Keep keep it consistent. When did Carlos leave? It had to be after the whole Phaedra Candy situation. That was what, season nine? Eight and eight, nine, eight, nine. Eight I want to say eight or nine, somewhere, somewhere there. They've had several years to fix this. They haven't because they've lost viewers. Well, that and they keep keeping the same cast members yeah. with no storylines. But okay, yeah. we're back to Jersey now. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. So, yeah. So we go back three days, because we need mm -hmm. to find out what built up to this argument. 
Um, so we catch up on all the different housewives at their house. So we see little snippets. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, we find out that Teresa's dad died. Um, mm -hmm. And, you know, condolences to the family about that. Um, but he was... He was sickly, and I think he missed his wife. I'm gonna be honest. I think he that missed happens. her. I yeah. agree. I mean, that happens with older couples who've been together mm -hmm. so long. I've heard of that like one, mm -hmm. one passes away, and then the other one passes like right mm -hmm. after. I mean, excuse me. Yeah. That's what happened to. It's a different thing. That's what happened to um De uh, Debbie Reynolds and Carrie Fisher. Oh yes, yes. Like, Another daughter. Carrie they passed. Were very tight. Carrie mm -hmm. passed, and then Debbie went the next day. As I recall, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so that's the grief. Grief is a is a strong thing. Yeah, but he was great. He was so funny to me. I enjoyed mm -hmm. watching him on the screen. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, so um, we see Jackie. Um, you know, th they have a little talk about you know the the lockdown and you know how it's been rough on everybody, but she wants to plan a birthday party for her husband. It's no special birthday like a fiftieth or anything like that. It's just because they've had a hard year. Um, he he's never celebrated his birthday, so she wants to do it as you know appreciation for him. Mm -hmm. um, and I can understand. I think that's great. Um, what do you think about Melissa talking about talking out everybody's um like I knew Margaret went and got um her bubbies done. Um, but I didn't know that Dolores was on her second butt implant. That was hilarious. That was funny. And then we see Dolores in her closet talking to Frank as usual, her ex-husband. And she shows him the scars from it. Like, I didn't even know that's where the scars went. I don't know why I thought it would be under the cheeks, not above. I don't know. I was thinking lots of weird things during this but show. When he, but when he said, that's what I do to a flounder, I was like, wow. <laughs> that's, I was, that, that made me laugh. I'm like, oh, that, you ain't lying. <laughs> um, but okay, yeah. So <laughs> we... We see, is there anything in the catch-up of all of these wives that we need to talk about? No, to be honest, they were just giving us little snippets, little catch-up, yeah. you know. Outside of Dolores' plastic surgery, Margaret's house, um, you know, uh, Antonia, yeah. uh, Melissa's Antonia has a boyfriend. She's, no, well, she does? She's turning that, 15. Yeah, Zach, the boy Zach. The, the, the scene, that it was like her and her friends are like, and Joe's like, who's on the, or most like, who are you guys talking to? Zach and Mikey. She's like, hi, Zach. Hi, Mikey. And it says, like, Zach, uh, Antonio's boyfriend. Uh, so there, all I saw the, was Joe saying that he doesn't want her to have a girl, uh, a boyfriend. Yeah, no, no, no. He wants her in a nunnery ASAP. <laughs> uh, who else is it? You know, I think those are pretty much the main parts of the catch up. Oh, and Margaret says that she wants to plan a girl's trip to say to, to Lake George. Mm -hmm. So she's planning this like right out the gate. Like we're not even waiting. Like, oh my God, I'm scared that we're gonna get everything in the first few episodes and then there's gonna be nothing for the rest of the season. Mm. Fair point. Um, so yeah, um Jackie's planning this um birthday party for her husband, Evan. Um so it's outdoors. It's like in a parking lot and it's under different tents. She said this was a small event, but it seemed like there was a lot of people there. For me, that's what I was like, she said small, I thought it was going to be like a small like dinner like, at their house. Like 10 to 20. Right. But when I saw it was outside, I'm like, okay. I'm like, whoa. Okay, this is small. Got it. Yeah, because at first I said, oh, it's taking up the whole parking lot. There's like a bunch of tents. Oh, maybe she's spacing everybody out one, you mm -hmm. know, family per tent. No, there was a lot of people there. No man. <laughs> yeah, I was like, okay, y'all wear masks to the event. You're the the people like um working the event are wearing masks, but y'all not wearing masks. Okay. Well, I guess they I guess they get tested all the time or something. I don't know. I don't know. Um but yeah, everybody's having a good time. Melissa's checking out everybody's plastic surgery. Did you see when she jiggled Dolores's butt? Right. Oh my God. I laugh. I laugh. It had a whole nother life of its own. Wow. 
I got to check my butt later. But okay. I, I, I'm i sure it does not have that much movement. She has cheat control, too. That's what, that, that's what it is. Yes! It's cheat control. I was like, wow. Wow. I wonder why Frank won't leave her. Hmm. Anyway, the party seems to be going really well. Um, they're hoping that Teresa shows up with a date, but she shows up with a woman. Michelle, she a the realtor. realtor? Yeah. Yes, she was. She's uh, Teresa's realtor, and before the season, it was rumored that she would be the newest housewife. Ooh. Yeah, she was. I think she was. Um, they were auditioning her to be the new housewife. But I guess she's going to be a friend this season. Well, isn't I think her that name is how Michelle they normally um, like audition them? They make them friends first and see if they can promote them? Generally, yes. Yeah. Mm, okay. Well, she didn't say anything. She said hello. I missed that. Okay. Mm. So the party's going on. The boys are all together doing shots, which is always a mistake. Um, and the girls are, you know, kikiing over in a corner. And Teresa starts talking. And, and I was saying, out of nowhere. I was yes. out of nowhere. There was no context, no nothing. But why would she think? Talking about this rumor. Now, the rumor is, is that she heard from somebody that she can't remember that Evan is screwing around with somebody when he goes to the gym. Why would you bring that up at Evan's birthday party? And loudly. And the cameras were so shady because they showed her going from person to person to person to person mm -hmm. saying the same thing. And everybody has common sense. Like even her brother has common sense, even though he's like halfway drunk, and he's like, "I don't live in this town, so I don't, I don't know." I don't, right? I don't he's, I'm not. He's, I'm not from this area. <laughs> oh, well, good job, Joe. Uh, <laughs> Margaret is slowly disintegrating into a mess because she's. This is not going to end well. <laughs> Exactly. How can you do this? It's so inappropriate. Melissa's like, "What are you doing, Teresa?" I don't get it. Why did, why does she think this was appropriate? I just think, I mean, maybe she needs a storyline. That's okay, but she, like you said, she holds on to. Like we've talked about, she holds on. Yeah. She holds on to a grudge. Um, but this was not the place or the time, and this is where reality TV comes in for for me because had this been you know a real life situation you know some one Jackie's friends overheard it but they mm -hmm. would have done they would have gone to Jackie you like look this is what's going on at your party you may want to check her real life Teresa would have got checked and thrown out the party but this is reality TV so they can't really do that yeah because they said that one of her friends called her the next day to tell her, tell Jackie mm -hmm. what was said and who was mm -hmm. saying it. Exactly. Um, I don't know if like, I vacillate back and forth on this. Like mm -hmm. I, 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 my first inclination would be to go and tell Jackie right away at the party. But then again, I would want to hold back because she was having such a wonderful mm, right. time. She was all up in her husband. He was having a good time. Would I want to be the cause of ruining that? Like, ee. like for me, I'm more of the person is the tells the friend like, look, stop it. Not the time or place. Cut it. Done dead it now you keep going but they then were i'm going to that everybody but then that's what I said, after that i'm gonna say in my in, what i would do i would tell her to shut it down but if i see you keep going then i'm going to tell the the host hostess this is what's going on at your party you may want to go handle that and in real in my real life situation teresa would got handled then and there it was bad for jackie I did, and then we and go to the woods. You know, yeah. he, you and if there was a reason why he didn't celebrate stuff, like this would reinforce it. I'm never having another party again. I don't want none of these hoes around me. 
Exactly. <laughs> and what was it the next day that like it was hilarious to see Teresa's face when she saw Jackie's name pop up in her phone. Mm-hmm. That like, killed me. Did you think this wasn't gonna come back around to you? But Jackie, to her credit, handled it right away. Like there was no days going by or nothing like that. Like she must have got the call from her friend early in the morning. Then she sat down and she told her husband. He probably raged a little bit. Like she formulated a quick plan and she was like, hello, Teresa. We need to talk. We're going to meet at Margaret's house. Why Margaret house? Because that's where we're going. (laughs) Margaret's house because it's a neutral ground. And she handled it so well because if you read between the lines, the way I took it is she's all because I don't want our chil- either one of our children to hear me drag you. That's what it, to me. That's what it was because it's, it's gonna get heated, and to I'm me, gonna drag you. To me, I went total Jersey in the thought process on that. I was like, she picked Margaret House because that's a construction site, and she could bury that bitch when she finished with her right there. I, that's that's how I thought about it. Okay. I was like, yeah. what? I'm like, Jackie's going to go in on this child and, and she does not want to do it in front of her children or her children. So we're going to go through that Margaret's house to where there's no children around. I can really just go in on you if I need to. And <sighs> Teresa, was, Teresa was kind of scared. I'm like, why are you scared now? You have a lot to say up behind her back at her, at her, at her husband's party. But that's that's typical Teresa. Like, she does stuff and doesn't really think ahead of what the repercussions are going to be. And then when they come at her, it's like a moment of deer in headlights before the adrenaline starts rushing. That's fair. <clears throat> and then she gets defensive. So she she does that a lot. Um, so it's the morning after. And, you know, all of the different families are going through what happened the night before. All the men are tore up like vomiting, headaches, can't get up. They're a mess. They're a mess. But at least they didn't fight this time because normally when they, like, like when Joe Gorga gets them to all start drinking, it turns into a fight and a mess. It's just stupid. Um, What? Oh, I was so glad to see Marge Sr. I haven't seen her in a really long time. Um, so when she came over to visit um, Margaret, um, I was happy to see her. And um, of course, she's telling Marge Sr. about you know her husband being drunk. Um, Jennifer, her husband has a headache with Melissa. Joe is trying to sleep through the hangover with a bunch of giggling girls downstairs. And we see Dolores excuse me, we see Dolores um, at her house and no, she goes over to David's house because um, her son Frankie is living over there now, right? Yes, he's staying over there so he can study for his what, GMAT or something to get into grad school. Mm-hmm. And so that's what's going on there. It's quiet, like he's there because it's quiet, it's people, he can get a lot of work done. So it's perfect for what he needs. And mm-hmm. David's very supportive of him because he's like, he's the only one I know who's taking advantage of this pandemic and really hunkered down and getting the work done. So mm-hmm. he really, he really admires Frankie for his work. And then Dolores and David get into it. And I understand both points of view. Uh-huh. Uh, Dolores is like, this is my body. I can do what I want to. Yada, yada, yada. But she's in a relationship with somebody. And he's right, a doctor, but right? I don't know. I don't yeah, he's, he's a doctor. That's why he's like never there. Because he's all doctoring. That- Ah, got it. I just I really don't pay attention to him last season. Um, but then also he's like concerned about like you know you didn't need it. I'm like that's nice. He's like he liked you the way he liked you the way you were. But isn't it funny that she helped him design and build that house, and it was supposed to be for her to move in with him, but yet right. she's the only one who hasn't moved in. She's still at her house with her living with Frank. Ay, ay, ay. Hold on. Let me make sure that David is is a doctor. Uh, doctor on. Sorry. Sorry for all the tie break. I'm not as stealth 
as as our friend Jamal mm -hmm. is. <laughs> yeah, Doctor yeah. David. Yeah. Uh, what kind? Yeah. Do you know what kind of doctor is he? By uh, why? 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 We need to go so in depth on things. But he has a real issue with like having elective. Elective. Surgery. Yeah, that was that was why I was wondering why he was so adamant. But I'm wondering if it's just because of the pandemic. Or in general, I think it's, it sounded like it was in general. Like, but he sounded like he had some like in depth, um, oh, experience or something. So, I was just curious oh. about that. Apparently, she had a tummy tuck, liposuction, and a fat transfer. That's a lot to get at one time, from what I understand. Wow. Okay. Um. But she looked great, though. So. She did. She did. I don't think it says what he specializes in, just, you know, his reasoning. Okay, well, he's a doctor, so he, yeah. he, he's, he's up on it, so I'll go with him. Uh, but yeah, they have some contention there. I think part of the contention is that she's not moved in, she's mm -hmm. not engaged. It's like their boyfriend and girlfriend, and she expected them to be farther along in this process. But quite honestly, I never thought that he was going to progress to engagement or marriage. Like that, that didn't either. come off on me. Like he was that type of guy. Me neither. I thought they were going to be happy together and being a couple, being in a partnership versus being married. Because he's not in a rush to get married. Or he, to be honest, he doesn't seem interested in marriage at all. He seems to like things the way they are. She seems to be the one who wants to be married again. She was, I think, when she was building the house because she kept on, like, stressing that, you know, once it's built, um, I'm supposed to move in, but I'm not moving in unless we're married. You know, she was falling back on, you know, that, that old, you know, mm -hmm. how little Italian girls are raised and brought up and stuff like that. And I get it, but he never... Like, he would never even respond or engage on it. Like, it wasn't even on his radar. He just mm -mm. thought she would be there, much like the couch, if that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Or the grandfather clock. Mm-hmm. I got so it's you. It's quite interesting, it. their dynamic. And it seems like now we're seeing problems in the relationship. Before, we didn't see them, but now we do. I think you could see see the cracks particularly on her end but now she's to the point of where she's frustrated slash resentful because mm -hmm. i kind of feel that she thinks she's wasting her time with him but she really wants to make it work that's the, that's just the vibe i'm getting from her or that she's invested so much time and effort into him and she's built this house for with him you know like some women think like they're going to stay because mm -hmm. I've invested so much into this man and made him mm -hmm. like just right. Why am I going to give that over to another woman? That's all my yeah. hard work, you yeah. know? Um, but don't get caught in that cycle, sister. Oof. Um, let's see. Where do we go from here? Um, do you want to talk a little bit about Jennifer and her family? And like, I thought that was an interesting dynamic where like her parents have now separated. Like the mm -hmm. brother that that had the mail order uh, bride that Teresa, who was it who said that? Teresa or no, it was Margaret, the mail order bride. Mm -hmm. um, he had the arranged marriage. Um, he is now living in Turkey. Mm -hmm. um, their dad was living with him, but now he's living with Jennifer because he can't live with his wife because his wife seems to attack everyone, especially her husband. Right. Oh my God. I thought it was cool that she just made the decision, like, look, this is what we're going to do. I can't stand to see him getting beaten up. And they all agree that the mother is the problem. Well, we don't know that, like, when you say beaten up, like, verbally beaten up, right? Verbally beaten up, Yeah, Sorry. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, we don't want anyone to think that, that yeah, there's but she anything. Said, yeah, she, 
Yeah, because she said, guess what, just what Jennifer said, those are the words she used. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, yeah. Like, verbal, like, like she just verbally, it seems to be verbally attacking him all the time for every little mm-hmm. thing. So she doesn't want to see her father go through that. So now um, he's living with them. Yeah. And like, even the dad said, because I, um, I made a note of it, that his wife fights all the time with everyone. That's kind of crazy. Like you're, you've you reached, you know, a particular age and, you know, everything should be like you're retired. You know, you just take one day at a time. You know, you don't let stuff get to you. You enjoy what time you have left. Mm-hmm. And it just seems like this man was living in a freak show. <laughs> Oh yeah, in the freak show and in, and in fear probably. Yes, you know, and he's a little old man bent over. It's just like, oh my god, you poor little thing. Um, so yeah, he's living there with her. But did you also notice something like with each one of her siblings that came over, the mom sent a casserole dish full of right. food and even coffee creamer for her husband, and they're like. She really wishes that she could be here. But who stopped her from coming? Like, I don't think Jen would have stopped her from coming. I don't think so. I think she just feels uncomfortable, probably a little bit embarrassed that her husband moved out on her and moved in with her daughter. And I think she just doesn't, I think she's probably in that mindset of like people, my family doesn't like me because of the situation. So I get it. Well, well, then, woman, behave right. Come on now, you, you, you old, old enough to know, like, act right, and then you'll be invited to all the family dinners. <laughs> she sent over chicken cutlet. She sent over another casserole. Like, like every time you heard the doorbell, it was like a casserole dish. Yeah, mom sent, mom sent this. Mom sent this. This is from mom. Oh, how funny. <laughs> The coffee creamer had me though. Like Jen can't have coffee creamer there for for daddy. <laughs> but, he, but she but she knows like what, exactly which coffee creamer he likes though. So I, I understand. Unless she made it at home from fresh goat milk that they keep with the, from the goat out in the yard. Like no, they could. She picked it up from the store and sent it over. She's just trying to make her presence known. Oh my god. All right, so we've hit on every. Body. We hit on Melissa with um, her daughter's 15th birthday party, party and boyfriend, Dolores and her problems with David, Jennifer and, you know, her parents' issues. Um, and we hit on Margaret talking with her mom and planning, like suggesting the, mm-hmm. the Lake George trip. So we've got everybody. So now we get to the call with Jackie. Oh. Okay, so I think we've pretty much gone over this call already. Mm-hmm. They're off to go to to uh, Margaret's house. This is good. Jackie's a little nervous in the car. But she I think is. it's more like anger. Like she's like, the anger has her kind of like shaking a little bit. She's She's trying to control it before she gets there. Exactly. I think what it is, is the simple fact is that she doesn't want to say or do anything or basically jump on this girl. Um, she's trying to stay composed. So she's nervous, but I agree with you. It's an angry nervous because she's pissed and I don't blame mm-hmm. her. And she's also trying to stick with the game plan, I feel like. She formulate like Jackie's one of those very methodical methodical thinkers and she has organized the plan in her head on of how to approach Teresa you know and Mm -hmm. when they finally do meet um she comes at it from an emotional standpoint an emotional argument Mm -hmm. and she's asking Teresa to let everybody know that it's not true because she lives in a small town where it gets around. You know, she don't want things said about her husband. This is her children's father. Like, come on now. She exactly. gives her a chance. <laughs> she did. And she was like, well, you know, it's a rumor I heard. Who told you? I don't know. I can't say it. Yeah, I just kind of infuriated Jackie. Mm-hmm. Then she kept asking, just, just admit that it's not true, that it's a lie, blah, blah, blah. And Teresa's like, why are you getting upset? You're a smart girl. If you know it's not true, then why are you getting upset? And I think that just kind of 
um, Jackie over the edge. She's like, you know what? I'm not, I am a smart girl. I'm not dumb. She's like, I'm a lawyer. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yeah, here we go. The Where there's smoke, there's fire. And they're flashing between the two women on the couch. And, and poor Margaret, who is going crazy because she's like, why is Teresa doubling down on this nonsense? It's not exactly. ending well. <laughs> no. She's like, they better not break down. She was worried they might, not, might break something in her house. That's what it really was. Or get something on her pretty Missoni uh, wallpaper. Yeah. She's like, I just got that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it just... Does, like this argument is accelerating. And so Jackie goes into, into second gear and she's like, so I guess it's the same as if I said, your daughter does blow <laughs> in the bathroom at I parties. Heard, no, she, she, like, yeah, heard, and, you know, well, that's I what heard. I heard, you know? <laughs> oh, oof. And like I was telling you, like Jackie really thinks about her attacks because she targeted the one dollar daughter that's reaching reaches um that has reached majority. Like, and because she's divorced from Joe, Juicy Joe now, you know, he's no longer a factor, you know. Mm-hmm. So you go after where it's gonna hit her the hardest and where hopefully she can relate, and that is with her adult child. Right, but we wasn't. I don't think she realized this, but she, like, we, I think the audience can expect the kind of response that we got from Teresa, and it was classic. It was classic. It was see you next Tuesday, see you next Tuesday, see you next Tuesday, and flipping the bird all the way out the door to her car. <laughs> and it was she took no breath. That was the funny part. She no no breath. Poor Margaret's like, what happened? What happened? It was like, see you next Tuesday. See you next Tuesday. I I I oh my god. It was electric. It was electric. I guess this is the thing. It's like, you know, um, I think I said this earlier. I'm not sure if I did, but the problem Teresa has with Jackie is this, is that Jackie treats Teresa like they're on the same level um, educationally, intellectually, mm-hmm. versus other people who just say, oh, Teresa doesn't mean it. Teresa's a little airhead. She's kind of dumb. But Jackie's not going for it. Jackie shows her no quarter. Mm-hmm. So it comes to the verbal sparring. Yeah, Jackie knows she has the the vastly upper hand, the vast upper mm-hmm. hand, I should say. And she, but she's still going to like come at Teresa with, with what she what she has. And Teresa cannot handle that. Teresa's not used to that. Mm-mm. She's used. Teresa's used to the yelling, the screaming, the arguing. Jackie's not going to do that with you. Yeah, she's she just stayed on the you. couch. She mm-hmm. didn't like. She didn't raise her voice. I don't think she cursed. You know, she just sat there and she went from, you saw when she switched from one tactic to the next, you know, and she knew, like, I think the reason to me why Jackie treats um, Teresa like she's on the same level as her um, education wise is that she knows that a lot of her barbs are going to go straight over Teresa's head. And I think she takes mm-hmm. a lot of joy out of someone who doesn't even realize that they might have been assaulted. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <sighs> okay, so this is the end of the episode, right? Did we miss anything? This is a good episode. I think we got everything. Quite honestly, this episode got off with a bang. I hope that there's more to come. And Thanks. whoever is the production company for this franchise needs to like send the secret to all the others. They really exactly. Because this was great. This is a great opening. Um, so I'm happy. Yes, yes. So again, guys, share your comments with us. 
we want to know what you thought of this premiere episode of The Real Housewives of New Jersey, season 11, episode one. See you next Tuesday. Um, we want to know your feedback. What do you think of all of the ladies? Um, you know, give us a thumbs up if you like our review of this episode. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. And hit the notification bell so that you're sent an alert every time that we drop new comment. Most importantly, tell a friend. Have them join the conversation. I think that this... This season will be so good. But then again, I said that about Salt Lake City and I got vastly disappointed. I take it back. I agree. I'm just going to wait and see. Oh, my God. But we'll, we'll, we have hope. This, this is a good start. It does, because the preview for what's to come looked really good. Exactly. Oh, my God. Okay. So that's it for now. And we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.